All right, thanks guys. No time to waste. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Beginning with Maryland taking on LSU. That's going to be a 12-10 Eastern tip-off in Jacksonville. <clears throat> LSU opened the betting as the two and a half point favorite, total at 147. And since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing movement toward LSU. We're also seeing movement downward on the total as well. LSU is now minus three, total moved down to 145. So once again, the Tigers open two and a half up to minus three, total open 147 down to 145. 63% are leading LSU, 55% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Terrapins are plus 140 on the money line. Now, if you like Maryland in this spot here, just keep in mind they're taking on an LSU team who's a favorite in a lot of folks' brackets. They're also 5-2 and two against the spread in their last seven, 20 and 20-3 uh, straight up in their last 23 games. LSU also ranks 19th in scoring and 20th in offensive rebounding in the country. Now, Maryland on their side of things, they're scoring 71 points per contest, but that's actually going to put them at 159th in the nation. They've also failed to cover in five out of their last seven games, taking on teams allowing more than 72 points per contest. When it comes to the total, Maryland's just 20% to the over at the current posted total. They're also just 25% to the over on the road, taking on teams allowing more than 72 points per contest. All that said and done, give me LSU minus three and the under 145 in that matchup there. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon me. Next game, Wofford, Kentucky, 240 Eastern tip-off in Jacksonville. Uh, what do we have here? UK open five and a half, total 138 and a half. And since those markets open this one up, we're seeing movement downward on the spread and upward on the total. Minus five, 139 and a half. Once again, Kentucky open five and a half, down to minus five. Total open 138 and a half, up to 139 and a hook. 55% of the consensus is leaning toward Kentucky. 67% is shaded toward the over. And at the moment, Wofford is plus 190 on the money line. Now, if you like Wofford in this matchup here, they've won their last 21 straight. That's right, they're 21-0 straight up in their last 21 ball games. They've also successfully covered the number in 12 out of their last 13 games. They rank 10th in the country in scoring. And they rank first in three-point shooting. They're uh, launching at 42% at per game from beyond the arc. Now, uh, Kentucky failed to cover in five out of their last seven. They've also covered just five out of 14 games with under four days off. So once again, they're just five and nine against the spread with four or less days off. Now, total-wise, Kentucky is 4-0 to the over at the current total. Wofford, 71% to the over at the current posted total themselves. Give me Wofford plus 5 in the over 139 in that matchup there. Next game, Florida-Michigan, 515 Eastern tip-off. Michigan opened minus 7, total 120. We're seeing movement downward on the spread and upward on the total. Half a point fade of Michigan in the early going here. Three-point move upward on the total right now Michigan six and a half total moved up to 123 so once again the Wolverines open minus seven down to minus six and a half total open 120 up to 123 53 percent is leaning toward Florida 68 percent shaded toward the over right now the Gators are plus 240 on the money line now, if you like uh, the Gators in this matchup here, it's going to be a tough one for you. They're taking on a Michigan team who's 7-3 and three against the spread in their last 10. They're also second in points allowed in the country. They're giving up just 58 points per contest. Now, their defense ranks 14th in defensive field goal percentage. Their opponents are shooting just 39% from the field. Now, Florida ranks 220th in scoring. That's horrible. They also rank 202nd in offensive field goal percentage. They're just shooting 42% from the field. They're also 214th in offensive rebounding. Now, total-wise, Michigan's 5-3 and three to the over in their last eight. Give me the Wolverines minus six after buying the half a point and the over 123 in that matchup there. Next game, Murray State, Florida State, 6'10 Eastern tip-off. The Seminoles open 5.5, total 144. We're seeing movement downward on the spread. A one-point fade of the Knolls in the early going here. We're also seeing movement upward on the total as well. 4.5 and, and 144 in a hook. So once again, Florida State open 5.5, down to minus 4.5. Total open 144, up to 144 in a hook. 60%. Shaded toward Murray State, 63% shaded toward the over. Right now, Murray State's plus 165 on the money line. 
Murray State has won their last 12 straight ball games, 12 and 0 straight up in their last dozen. They're also 8 and 2 against the number in their last 10. They rank 9th in offensive scoring and 6th in offensive field goal percentage. Now Florida State, well, their offense is shooting just 44% from the field. That's going to put them at 148th in the country in that category there. They've also failed to cover in six out of their last nine, and they've covered just three out of their last nine games, taking on teams allowing 67 to 72 points per contest. Now, total-wise, Florida State is 67% to the over, taking on teams, averaging more than 72 points per contest. Murray State 3-0 to the over in their games at the current posted total. Give me Murray State plus five after buying the hook in the over 144 and a half in that matchup there. Next game, Baylor, Gonzaga, 710 Eastern tip off at the Vivint Smart Home Arena. Gonzaga open 13 and a half, total 148. We're seeing money on Gonzaga and money toward the under. Right now, the Bulldogs are minus 14, total 147 and a hook. So once again, the Zags open 13 and a half, up to minus 14, total open 148, down to 147 and a hook. 57% are leaning Gonzaga, 58% shaded toward the over. Right now, Baylor's plus 1040 for an upset win. Now, if you like Baylor in this matchup here, <clears throat> They do rank 24, uh, 21st in defensive rebounding. They are 10-5 against the spread on the road this year. 11-5 ATS as the dog. And they are 9-4 against the spread as the official road underdog. Uh, one more thing to note about Baylor. They are 10-4 against the spread after four or less days off. So really under short rest, getting the job done for their backers. Now Gonzaga is covering just 25% of their games at the current number. Uh, they've covered also just four out of their last nine ball games. So I think Baylor can get the job done here. I'm not sure if they're going to do it outright, but I think they can keep it close. Give me Baylor plus 14 and the under 147.5 in that matchup there. Next game, Big Ten rivalry in March Madness. We have Minnesota taking on Michigan State. 745 Eastern tip-off at the uh, Wells Fargo Arena in uh, Iowa. Uh, Michigan State opened the betting as the double-digit favorite, minus 10, total open 141.5. And since those markets opened this one up, Sparty continues to take money. They're up to 10.5, uh, total moved upward as well. Uh, once again, we're looking at uh, Michigan State, 10.5, total 142. So uh, just to recap that all over, Michigan State opened 10, up to minus 10.5, total open 141.5, up to 142. 51% of the consensus is leaning toward the Golden Gophers, 60% shaded toward the under. Right now, Minnesota's plus 500 on the money line. Now, Minnesota ranks 166th in scoring. They also rank 162nd in offensive field goal percentage. They're shooting just 43% in that category there. Uh, Minnesota has covered just six out of their last 16 games after four or less days off. So once again, just six and 10 against the number after four or less days off. A uh, couple more things to add about Minnesota. I know I'm really hammering them right now, uh, but they're just 3-7 and seven straight up in their last 10, taking on Sparty, if you're into historical trends. And the Golden Gophers rank 211th in three-point shooting. Now, Sparty on the other side, completely different story. They really look like a uh, contender. They rank 7th in offensive rebounding. They're also 15th in the country in field goal percentage. They're shooting 48.4% from the field. They are 5-3 and three against the number in their last eight. And one more thing to note about Michigan State, they are 10-5 and five against the spread as the official road favorite. And 22 and 9 ATS when laying the points this year. Now, total wise, Sparty is 7 1 to the under, taking on teams averaging 67 to 72 points per contest. Michigan State's also 87% to the under, taking on teams allowing 67 to 72 points per contest. So, with all that in mind, I'm going to purchase the half a point, slide it down, and take Michigan State laying the double digits, minus 10. And the under 142 in that matchup there. Next game, I'm looking forward to this one. Villanova taking on Purdue. 840 Eastern tip-off at the XL Center. Uh, Purdue opened the betting as the two-point favorite. Total at 137. And since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing heavy money on Purdue. We're also seeing money towards the over as well. Purdue's now three and a half total up to 138. So when, uh, once again, the Boilermakers open minus two, uh, uh, moving up to three and a half. Once again, Purdue open minus two, up to three and a half. Total open 137, up to 138. 
57% are leaning toward Villanova, 58% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Wildcats are plus 150 on the money line. Villanova's 4-3 and three against the number in their last seven. They're also a perfect 5-0 and ATS when catching the points. 3-0 and against the number uh, take, uh, when playing games at the current point spread. And they're also 5-0 and ATS as the official road underdog. Now, Purdue on the other side, they have failed to cover in their three games that tipped off at the current uh, posted number themselves. 0-3 ATS in their games at the current number. Uh, they've also covered just 6 out of 14 games as the official road favorite. And they're just 3-7 and seven against the spread after four or less days off. Now, total-wise, Purdue is 70% to the over at the total. Villanova, 64% to the over on the road, taking on teams allowing 60 seven points or less. Give me the underdog in this matchup here. I'll take Villanova plus three in the over 138 in that matchup there. All right, next and final game for our college slate. It is going to be Auburn at Kansas, 940 Eastern tip off at the Vivint Smart Home Arena. KU open minus one total 148. And since those markets open that one up, we're seeing money on Kansas and money uh, towards the under. Right now, Kansas is minus two, total 147 and a half. So once again, Kansas open one, up to minus two, total open 148, down to 147 and a hook. 51% are leaning Auburn, 63% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Tigers are plus 120 on the money line. Auburn ranks 28th in scoring. They're also 9-0 and straight up in their last nine ball games and 7-2 against the spread in their last seven. Kansas has failed to cover in five out of their last six uh, as the underdog, should that line flip. They're also covering just 25% of their games at the current number, and uh, they're uh, covering just 16% of their games as the official road underdog. So just keep in mind, if that line flips, or if you had a shop that had uh, Kansas open up as the dog. Now, total-wise, the Jayhawks are 3-1 to the under in their last four. I like Auburn in this one, guys. Give me Auburn plus two in the under, 147.5 in that matchup there.